Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and this is an update of our 30 day office renovation challenge. Now since the last video, the IDs have actually done up a 3D rendering of the, the, the layout is here and here. Okay, but I wanted something that can help to really better visualize the space. Uh, what if we add this furniture in, uh, that painting in, this kind of thing and to help to better communicate my ideas to the ID as well. That's why I found this really cool program called Cool Home that helps to really make a 3D rendering of whatever floor plan that you have. Let me show you. So Cool Home is a free program for you to use. Of course, there are paid features, but I'm using the totally free one. And this program is really useful because you can see, uh, you can add in your own floor plan here, add in the wall structures according to the floor plan, you can add in windows, doors, right? So I've, according to my floor plan, added in all these walls, windows and doors, right? And on top of that, you can actually add in various finishes, like floor finishing, lighting, furniture, so on and so forth, decor, appliances, and all this kind of thing. So it's really, really useful. Now this is what we have done. Uh, according to my floor plan, let's introduce the flooring first. Okay, this is a top view, uh, by the way, of the floor plan. And as you can see, the studio, hot desking area, and pantry area are all the same flooring. What we are using here is a uh, it's a vinyl wood look-alike flooring. Of course, the colours are not exactly like what we chose for the actual thing, but this is as close as we can find uh, using this program. It is in a herringbone pattern, which is really popular nowadays. And for the leader's office, we are using a kind of a cement street look-alike vinyl tiling. We wanted this room to look, look a little bit different than the rest of the area here. For this layout, you can see that the pantry area is here. We have added this pantry table in front of it. These two tables are actually 2 meter uh, by 0.9 meter tables, two of them. To make this whole long 4 meter hot desking table, you have your curve design, I mentioned this the last time, our curve design entrance wall. And also we plan to do up a chill corner here with bean bags, the TV over here. And lastly, the studio area here, we haven't decided what to put inside here yet, furnitures and all this, so we're leaving it empty for now, uh, for this 3D rendering. And the cool thing about this also is that you can actually look at it from a 3D perspective like this. Okay, you can either use the walk function, you can actually walk around the place like this, or just a simple top view from the front. And you can see from here, you can shift your position around, shift the camera angle around, all right? You can shift the camera as well to help you to see all around. You can even just click inside here to shift all your camera angles around. So really cool. Now let's explain the overall design of this place first. Again, the colors are not exactly what we chose, but this is as close as we can find. Uh, we are going for more of a, a bolder, brighter colors. In terms of the bold color is a bluish green and also with cream. Now why did we go with bluish green? Is because it has been found that bluish green or blues and greens uh, actually give you a more calming effect and also helps to boost concentration, focus and efficiency in the workplace. So this is exactly what we want for our office. Directly from here, what you can see is the entrance wall. This is the curve design that we are talking about. We actually got this from a Pinterest picture that the ID showed us. We really quite liked it, so we added it in. It's not going to be this colour, right? Uh, it's going to be more of a textured paint. Uh, but I didn't have any in this program, so I just used this cement street lah. Okay. And of course, on this, um, and of course, on this entrance wall, we are gonna have our division name, all right, to complete the whole partition wall, welcome wall uh, into the entire office. For the pantry area here. Originally, we only wanted like a very simple pantry area. We just want to buy like off the shelf kind of a bottom cabinet and just a fridge would be enough. But subsequently, we really wanted to do up a really nice pantry area over here, which we will show you in time as well. But the design looks something like this, with the tall boy here with cabinets that's hiding the DB box and this pantry table in front. For the hot desking area, like I mentioned earlier on, total four meter long hot desking. All right, and this chill corner, we are intending to put like some neon lights here, some paintings here, uh, and what's really cool about this program is that you can actually render pictures as well. You can render uh, panoramic views, you can render 
uh, a lot of stuff uh, with their function render here. And what I've done here is I've rendered it as like a picture, right? A 3D uh, perspective. You can see with this in, how it will look like. Uh, with this in, how it will look like. Ignore the letters here. We couldn't find any other neon lights here. So uh, we are not really drinking inside the office. Lah. Okay. Then lastly, we have the leader's office. So it's not going to look exactly like this. In this program, I couldn't really find a function to do glass panels. Uh, but I actually used glass doors here and removed the handles to make it look like these are glass panels, right? Uh, the design is also a little bit different. There will be a curve here. And inside the office, it will be mainly white walls with cement, squid look alike, vinyl tiles. So yes, this is the entire look of the office, what it will roughly look like. Uh, it will look better than this, hopefully, once the entire renovation is done. So I think this program is really, really cool for you to use. Even if you're not doing an office renovation, you can use it for your home renovation to help you to like, better visualize your home and be able to convey your ideas to your ID a lot better as well. So if you found this video useful, leave it down in the comment section below what you used it for. Go and like the video, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel to follow along on our 30-day renovation challenge. Now in the next video, we'll be showing you on-site updates of our renovation, so stay tuned. See you in the next video. Bye!